January 26th, Tuesday. Hmm. Just got home. Day started out. I didn't really have a chance to start the day, really. It just kind of went. And I don't know. I don't know. It should have, in theory, it could have been a, a, and it was, I guess, an okay day. But, you know, at some point something turned. You know, a thought. Myself, you know. Um, I turned against me. Um, my thoughts just uh, shifted. And uh, I got a little bit, uh, or am a little bit, um, Yeah, you know, a, a thought occurred, and I can't unthink it or escape it. And it is a possibility. You know, there's lots of possibilities. You know, and I don't know anything. I don't. There's just so many, you know, unknowns. But from my perspective at this time I don't see how I mean I guess it's where belief and uh, faith and trust and hope and all those things come into play but uh, I've never been good at those things but I've been getting a lot of practice these past few years so Maybe this is where, you know, all those times when I'm um, working on being the person capable of, uh, you know, so maybe this is one of those times where I am the person capable. And it's like, I don't have to like everything about everything, you know. But uh, I can begrudgingly um, deal with things. It just seems like if I don't deal with it, well, then who else is? You know, no one's going to swoop in and start handling stuff. You know, it's like, no, that's not how it is. So, it's scary though, you know, the whole adulting thing, I'm just kind of doing it. I don't know how, I don't know how other people do it. Um, It doesn't, it feels like it shouldn't be as hard as it is, or as hard as it seems to be for me. Um, like, yeah, you know, I just know that, uh, you know, once my thoughts turned against myself at work, um, I was just really, really tearing myself up. Um, you know, telling myself, um, you know, a litany um, of lies. Familiar lies, very familiar lies. Um, you know, I started making a list of words, of uh, trying to identify how I feel, and um, but I'm not going to read it because um, I don't feel that way anymore. I noticed I felt better pretty much as soon as I was driving back. It's like as soon as I got out of there. Because I was just getting um, unnecessarily stressed out by every little thing was starting to bother me. And it was adding up. And I was, it was stuff kept happening faster than I was able to deal with it. Or, you know, it was just more. And it's just people. And it's just too many people. And 
I couldn't find any uh, space, and um, I couldn't get away. You know, I have to be there. I don't have to, but you know, I'm scheduled to be there, and I should be there. But I did take myself off the floor about 15 minutes early, um, and just kind of went away. I, I was, there was more stuff to do, but I I, I went away. Uh, made myself scarce. Um, pretended to be doing something, you know, just so I could be out of the public eye. Because I just didn't want to be seen anymore. I didn't want to be seen. I didn't want to interact. I didn't want to talk. Just at some point, I just decided I don't want to talk to anyone. And even after my shift, I wanted to pick up a few things before I drove home. And, uh, you know, just negotiating and traveling the store and seeing other people, it's like, you know, they want to talk or say hi or, you know, ask me a question or whatever. And it's like, I've already decided that I'm, I'm done. I'm just done. I'm just over with talking. And, and they don't know that. So, and I was like purposefully avoiding people, like going you know, taking longer routes and avoiding and going, you know, just needless travel in completely opposite directions from where I wanted to be, um, just to avoid those little things. And I got caught once. It's like, you know, just in a funny little, like, how did they even, like, they were trying to intersect me or something? That's like a forced interaction. I hate those forced interactions where it's like, small talk it's like now I have to talk it's like I already decided I didn't want to talk now I have to talk because saying nothing I can't you know it's, it's like I can only get away with giving thumbs ups or you know gestures you know so much sometimes I have to talk when I don't want to talk yeah I know silly but it's serious you know it might sound silly maybe it is silly but you know once I get emotionally destabilized just you know compromised um, I'm just I'm just on tilt and I just need to go I just need to be, I just need to be let to be go, or let to be gone, and just, and even out in the parking lot, I was just like trying to get away, and there was like just people, and it's like, just, I mean, the world's not going to get any better, in fact, the world's going to get more and more populated, and more and more crowded, so, um, the world's not, it's not going to get any better. So the only choice is for me to get better. Well, that's probably not going to happen much either. All I can just do is just, just keep doing what I'm doing and learn to get better at being okay doing what I'm doing. And maybe somehow I'll get better, I don't know. But it's always been this way. You know, like anxiety, you know, attacks or panic attacks, whatever you want to call them, I don't care. Um, what I just want to just I don't feel okay until I get to a safe space by myself and uh, and from there I can start to gather myself together and put some perspective on it and like okay like look at my notes and it's like hmm. I don't know and thoughts as well so you know, just uh, uncertainties. Yeah. These are not new uncertainties. But, uh, you know. So, I still don't know what to make of things. And, uh, kind of going quiet, I think. Um, for now, I guess. 
Um, there's nothing more to say. Um, I said everything. And now this is just updates and status reports and um, talking to myself, getting better at talking to myself. For whatever reason, apparently this is what I'm doing to comfort myself, I guess, to keep a conversation going. So I don't forget, I guess. And the funny thing is, is the only ones that know anything about this. I don't talk about it. It's no one's business. I think, I don't know if that's a, like, I'm the only one that can decide whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think it's okay. It's not a secret. It's just private. And it's like, on a public, but who cares? This is so anonymous. It's like, lost amongst millions and millions of pages hiding you know it's like who even does this i mean there's people that do this i guess but how do you know them it's like how many people are doing this sort of thing but you just they don't have any they you just don't know about them because they're doing it like how i am and there's just under the radar low profile there could be millions of people, millions of channels like this, where somebody is just talking at the camera. And if you don't know who the person is or how to find them, then you'll never find them. Or something like that. I don't know how you'd find anybody, that, you know. So, I don't know. I don't, it was a random thought I had. Oh, and the other random thought, or random thing, which I kept forgetting to remember, but now I, I remember. Um, from my trip um, to Wisconsin, um, I did the whole thing with the Illinois Tollway. I had to register, and it took me like an hour. And I was like, I just want to pay a toll. And then it said I owed nothing. I got a receipt today. I was charged $3.80. And I was like, yes. So, the receipt said that it sometimes takes as long as 30 days from the time of travel for their billing process to go through. So I was through there. I didn't realize it takes. I thought the automated system would, but I guess it takes it a while. There's a lot of cars. So I don't know. Well, now I know. It takes a while. I was worried that I would get, you know, billed for fines and late fees and things, but I got a bill for, or, or, you know, I got charged, so it's like good. So now I know that they the information was there and they were able to bill me, and I don't have to one less thing to worry about, or one less thing in the back of my mind that every so often I would remember and think about and be like, hmm, never did get a bill, and you know, and so it's like, so it's like yesterday. I'm glad I got the uh, taxes done, you know, because otherwise I'd be thinking about that, you know. And then today it was just a, you know, strange day. I don't know where these thoughts come from. I thought I had a thought that uh, it might have to do with, uh, you know, that uh, that guy Matt, who just 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 dead, overdosed, heroin, dead. Mm, no one was talking about him. Not that I heard. Yeah, like I said yesterday, maybe they were before or after. I just don't. I wasn't a part of it. And uh, you know, I didn't know him. I didn't even know who he knew, and who knew who, and how closely, and how long, and his history. But uh, I don't know. It just, it just happens too much. As if I have any control over it. Or it just, it just seems like it happens quite a bit. 
and that uh, guy that wanted me or he mentioned something about sponsoring him and it's like I gave him a pamphlet and uh, yeah, he seemed pretty gung-ho about it the first day he mentioned it and the very next day it was standoffish and it's like okay well I don't it, it's not my uh, thing to do you know it's like I don't get a commission for sponsoring people so like well, for every sponsor, you like it back in. It's like, it's like. So it makes it really easy on me, which I'm glad for. I'll be, I mean, if he's got my number, so if he calls, I'll still talk to him, but I feel like I'm off the hook, kind of. As if he was just looking for somebody to, like, you know, it's like, I'm not even going to bother even thinking about it. It's the same old thing. People have different angles that they like to play. And it's like, if people want to play games, they can play games. But I'm not going to play along. It's like, I just get tired of playing other people's games. And, um... I mean, there's some games I like to play. But not, not when it comes to recovery. Not when it comes to, you know... It just feels like, you know, people don't care about themselves, about their own life. And they get, they get me. And it's like, I, it's not, I get to care about them more than they care about themselves. So I just, you know, stopped doing that. You know, I just, I was shut down on that. You know, it's like, well, I'll just, I'll remain um, distant. I'll remain separate. I just... I'll just form a barrier and a blockade and it's like just keep you carp compartmentalized elsewhere it's like so I find I I'm much better off when people don't uh, it's like I'll be friendly to you and talk to you a lot more one-on-one -on -one as equals um, but as soon as you start you know talking about sponsee sponsor it's like then I get, it's like, okay, all of a sudden now I'm like in charge of you? No. I, and it's like, I don't have a curriculum and I don't have like, and also it's like, I don't work the program like how you're supposed to work the program. So. <sighs> the program. It just sounds like spooky. No wonder. I mean, there's just so many misconceptions, and there's so much misinformation, and there's just. It's not. It's. It's the people I'm surrounded by. And they're not all bad. And they're not all, even the ones. They're just. You're gonna have strange people, and it's like. When I say you're gonna have strange people. Yeah. Um, just a little bit, so. I like to think that I'm like, uh, the voice of reason and, uh, kind of an outside perspective from the inside out. It's like I'm thoroughly embedded and entrenched in this whole thing, but I'm trying to, you know, become less. It's like, I, I prefer to just, you know, be anonymous. Um, no one really needs to know me. Oh, and that's the other thing I thought of um, that's been helpful for me. About, like, not really uh, keeping everyone else up to speed with what's going on in my life and uh, what I'm doing is uh, when I don't do that, then other people can't ask me about it. Because if I, you know, if I don't want to talk, then if they don't know what's going on with me, then they really can't ask me about it. So I consider that a good thing. It's probably supposed to be a bad thing, but I consider it a good thing because, you know, it's like, I just at work today, it's like a guy asked me, well, how'd you, how'd you like your vacation? 
what, what I'm trying to you know work and I think it was a prompt to try to get me to stop what I was doing and have a conversation and like show him pictures or talk about the trip and it's like I'm not here to like I just so I was just like yeah I enjoyed it and kept on working that was probably rude but so I don't know I'm just talking for the sake of talking <sighs> I'm tired I'm a little bit angry a little bit lonely and hungry so I am hungry angry lonely tired which means I shouldn't be making any decisions or um, anything complicated um, or any um, declarations of intent of any kind or make any judgment calls or make any choices to just settle just settle and relax and breathe and I'll take a nap And I'll feel different. So that's how it goes. The ever changing tides. Hmm. Yeah. But still, that thought. It is a possibility. So. <sighs> but there's nothing I can do about it. It is, you know, it's outside of my... Uh, outside of my uh, purview, apparently, is a word I'm using now. I'm trying to think of another word that I like better, but... Influence isn't right. Purview. Oh. I don't like control. It's like I don't have any it's outside my domain, my realm. This is what we get when it's unrehearsed, unpracticed. It's just anyway. Um, I guess that's it. I should go. I don't know if there's anything worth recording here, but it sure did uh, pass some time, and I guess uh, I feel better for having said it, whatever it was I said, which I've, I, I have promptly, promptly forgotten. Um, so, yeah. So I know I said some words. I'm pretty sure, because I've got it, I must have said something, because otherwise I wouldn't still be sitting here. And I do remember, right? I, just, I have a sense of it. I don't remember everything. I don't have to. Once it's said, I don't have to remember it. So, anyway. Okay, now I'm going to go. Okay. Mm-hmm.